Hey guys, Airworld Circle 7 here, and today I'm bringing you another video on the Indiana Craft server. I've recorded a couple smaller episodes, but I haven't put them up, so this is going to be my episode. So, as you can see, I'm in the default texture pack, and that is, well, first, well, after this we're going to go fishing. But, a couple things have happened on the server since we last met. As you can see, well, we've gone to the end. I didn't. Well, I have, but... We've gone, they've gone to the end, they defeated the Ender Dragon, and I missed it. My computer was updating at the time that they were doing it, which really bites, because I really wanted to be a part of it, but I heard it wasn't very good footage, a lot of people just screaming and acting like complete fools. But, since then, there's been a little bit of server, server lag, and Daga started a competition to replace the old forge. And there are five entries. Mine, Deedles, um, I forget who's this one. Um, Mr. Austin's, and I bet you that one's Haven's. Oop, hey, hey, sneaky spider. So I'm going to show you guys what the entries are. Now I have already voted on this, but this is Mr. Austin's. Right, let's just do a front view. So, as you can see, this is Mr. Awesome's right here. Let's try and get any other building out of the camera view. This is his front side. And in order to get in, you have to step here, step here. And when he first built this, there was no, there was nothing here blocking you from falling in the lava. But you step inside, and you can see this is um, Deedle. Deedle's attempt. This is Deedle's forge that he has built. It's at this. You can still catch yourself on fire. Nice little chimney. Um, little smelting area. Two of them. Tons of anvils. I don't know why he chose to do broken anvils on top of it. But, and then down here, down this pretty tunnel, you come down and bam, we are in another little forge that kind of in my opinion is unnecessary because there's no point to it I mean you get three anvils and a bunch of decorations in here and some lava honestly that's it all your main stuff is up here I mean pretty big open space not a whole lot going on on the inside so let's just go over to my entry which is this middle one right here I wanted to put some chimneys make it look like some smokestacks but I forgot so Let's take a look at mine. Step in. And this is what you see. You've got this little crafting area over here where you can access your stuff in the ender chest. Over here, you got a little smelting area. And from a top view down, this looks like, you know, just three little things sticking out. It looks like hammers, in my opinion, when I built it. And there's a bunch of lava. You can okay you can burn yourself yes that's true but you have to jump up here and then jump over I don't think anyone's gonna go to that link unless link unless they really want to die you got a whole bunch of animals here I made this nice little pattern and down below I have made a chest shop just a small little one obviously I forgot to decorate the roof and put signs on the chest but that's what those are for got some lava light in here no torches let me jump back up and the way you get out of this is you gotta right click and jump. So that's that. Got a nice little pitch to the roof. It's a nice little doorway. And I went through randomly and put either mossy stone brick or these cracked bricks throughout. So that made it look nice. So next up we got Whose is this? Uh, I can't read it. Darn. Um I don't remember, sorry for not remembering. I did at one point, but this is attempt number three at a forge. You got a little lava area over here. Two anvils, cauldron, a couple furnaces, and one chest. And then you step in here. There's been stuff added since the last time I was in here. What? Last time I was in here, there was none of this. It was just empty floors. Kind of pointless floors, too. They were just empty. It was like a little loft. There was no decorations, no chests. 
So they changed something. Because these weren't here. It was all empty. But maybe they weren't done. Which is kind of stupid. But anyway, that's attempt number three. At a forge. Got kind of steampunky type medieval. Next, we got Mr. Awesome. Now, he is gone, and he's probably, and he's the only one who's used redstone for his build. You step here, bam, lava goes away, and it falls back down. Looks pretty cool. And you step here, and you can, there's inner chest, anvil, block of iron, and a furnace. Fuel to the left, iron items to smelt on the right. I'm guessing there and there. Or is it here and here? I think that's right, there and there. And then, you know, it goes to this little system that you can't see very well. Then down here, you can see redstone and lava. I'm in a minecart with a hopper. And you get this little chest shop with a crafting table right there. Don't know if he actually intended for that one. But you can come down below. And they're all double chests. So, that's that. This is Mr. Awesome's redstone build. The only problem I have with this is because of server lag sometimes, someone could catch on fire. I watched um, one of the other guys, it's Baldi, and he was get, and he got caught on fire both times he went through. Luckily he didn't die. And this, I believe, is Haven's. Um, doesn't appear to be an actual step up into it. Maybe he's not done yet. When you come in here, you got a little counter area, some nice little seats, I think. And then up over here, you got this winding staircase, a chest with lava and more stuff, and one anvil, another chest in the corner, some nice decorations. Where did that? Oh, I placed it there. And here's another problem. You can fall down the stairs at the moment. So like I said, I don't think he's done. Yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it off. So if we just hunt down and pick up our brick. So that is the five attempts at um, building a forge to replace the old one. So I've already voted, and I'm not gonna tell you because I voted. You can, the, any of the guys, you guys can check the chest for my vote. But today I thought we were going to do some fishing, because I heard you can get some unique treasures from fishing. And... Yeah. Well, today it started off... I had been for about a week or so now, I've been having a problem with an ingrown toenail. Well, finally, right as it was starting to heal, my friend decided puts all his weight on my foot. And... Yeah, that didn't help it. So, it swelled back up and whatnot. And today I had to go to the doctor and get um, it fixed. That hurt. Actually, the only part that actually really, really hurt was the. Ah, um, oh, missed it. Was. I can't tell. When they stuck the needles in my foot. They stuck four needles in. I didn't see any of it. I was looking away the entire time. But yeah, they stuck four needles in my foot. And. To numb it. And then they. <laughs> surgically. Took out my entire toenail. On my big toe. So. Yeah. That was an interesting tar start to my day. Um, so, I've been fiddling around with some stuff on the server. One of them, I started a little pet project. I know i got to finish up my steampunk island. I've got to get booking on that, but I need some materials. So, I thought, well, let's just come over to here. show you what I've been doing. I 
needed an area to do some experimenting with. So I came down, down, down to bedrock and dug up a hole. And I saw this on Planet Minecraft. A guy had made a compact piston door. This is all the redstone that was needed for it. And you just. And you can make it a seamless door. Now, obviously, you could stick a lever on it. I don't happen to have one. But, you know, stay out and flick it in and it goes again. But yeah, you get the seamless piston door. Great for hiding stuff. It's tiny. What the? Circle bag. So it's, it's just this tiny little door. I mean, this is actually pretty, really compact. So I thought, oh, let's just mess with it. The first time I built it, I forgot a step. And I was supposed to put the repeaters out two or three ticks on both of them. And I forgot to do that, so they were still on one tick. So it didn't retract right. But now it does. So got that fixed. And I'm thinking about incorporating this somewhere. I haven't quite decided where yet. I haven't quite decided, but I was needing some materials, so I started digging out this. I thought about sticking a rocket ship underneath my base. You know, how cool would that be? Having my own steampunk rocket underneath. But maybe not. It just depends on how I feel. But I needed some materials, and I know I could have gone to the mining world. And I did that. I got this disposal unit right here. Found some lava by accident, so I just made a little disposable unit. And if we just climb back up, I'm not using my ender pearls. I've already almost died in the walls of my little tunnel here from throwing up ender pearls. Yeah, it's stop time. So let's just climb on up. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, I went to the end and enchanted a couple things. Is it in that chest? No, it's not. It's in this chest. Got a fortune two. I've got. I'm breaking. Three and efficiency four and a diamond pick. I uh, got that sword. Yeah, just that one. I tried that one earlier. And yeah, I'm not too happy with that. Um, got got that on a bow. I was hoping for infinity, but as you notice, if we look here, I've got another one. Yeah, and I can't upgrade it because it's way too expensive to do. So I can't get a power five bow unless I just make a straight power four. Made a whole bunch of rails and stuff for the ender farm, but I didn't need it. So I'm gonna do something with that later. Um I changed up my shop a little, as you can see. I've changed the walls. Haven't completed it yet. I'm being lazy and procrastinating. But uh, I've got the walls complete. So let's just head on over to the Endermine farm. And oh by the way. I got um, my donkey, Raymond Schneider, and I removed the farms from the outside to make it aesthetically pleasing, because otherwise it would just it's not working for me. I don't I like aesthetically pleasing stuff, and that's why I built the for my forge the way I did, because I thought it was aesthetically pleasing. So we're gonna run to the and portal do to do to the XP farm portal hub. And you just take a left and then straight back. Boom do 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 boom. And we're here. Holy crap, that is a lot of Endermen, Mr. Awesome. Yikes. And here on the Ender Farm we've got an enchantment area that'll get you to level thirty. How many people are in here? Can't even tell. I don't have anything to enchant at the moment, so I'm not going to do it. Because you can't enchant fishing rods, can you? Nope, not in one point. So if I do. Uh, I need to get new armor situated. Um, I need to find some diamonds and use my fortune. There it is, fortune two pick. It's just an iron pick. I mean, it's not diamond, but if I, I could stick that on that, but I don't have enough enchant marbles. That's actually what I was thinking about doing. But, I'm not going to, because Mr. Awesome is currently using the Enderman program. 
So let's just. Is there someone else over there? There is. Billicus. So let's just zoom on back. And. What else have I been doing? Not a whole lot. Um. Oh, let's just go to my. You know what? Actually, what time of day is it? Crap, it's night. Um, I, I really don't like going to my house at night. But if you come. Which. It was this way. I know where I'm going. Um. <laughs> if you come over this way. And take a left. And right here. To my steampunk city. I'm going to. Actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to decorate this entire thing. So let's go back to spawn and do that. Oh, come on. S P A W N. I can spell. I can spell. Uh, well, let's not die. Let's not die. Whew. I've actually died jumping off this a couple different times. Um, do, 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 do. So let's decorate our portal I'll have it and make it look marvelous. Since it's nighttime. And then I'll show you what's been going on over my island. I've had a few people accept my invitation and build on the island. Which, by the way, that is still open to anyone who wants to build. Oh, I see Birchwood. It threw me off. I haven't replaced that because there's signs on the back there. So, let's just do, do, do. And let's get some building materials today. And we're going to. That's what we're going to do today. So. Do, 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 do. We got lots of cobblestone. Can make use of the spruce wood. Um, ah, I was gonna do some uh, lapis and some redstone. Um, quartz. Let's throw in some quartz. Uh, what else should we build it out of? I'm saving this for a portal. Uh, redstone one. Sure, why not? Mmm, do do do. Anything else? Iron, maybe? I don't know. Um, do 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 do. What did I use all those quartz blocks for? I don't remember. Because I had a whole bunch. Um. Oh no, I had a whole bunch of this ore. And then I turned it into a block. Let's see, is there anything in there? What's enchanted on that one? Just a power one. Ah, uh, do 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 do. Blue wool. I was gonna use a brewing stand. Uh, I can use some sandstone maybe. Soul sand. See, I got tons of cobblestone from digging it out. Uh, too bad I can't make cookie blocks. You know how cool that'd be. Uh, let's try some melons. See what we can do. Anything else? Let's make use of this. I've sold off all the rest of my clay to Mr. Actually, I gave it to him. I meant to, for him to buy it, but... Mushrooms, maybe? Got lots of mushrooms. Um, What else can we build out of? Anything in here? Do -do. Um, some lily pads. Maybe we could do something there. Um, brown wool glass. Oh, do, 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 do. more soul sand. Uh, more lily pads. Bunch of picks. Some wool. Nothing here. Minecarts. What could we do with minecarts? I don't know. Let's just take some and see what I come up with. Oh, maybe we can make some cool looking design. Let's go. I was going to go fishing, but we're not going to go fishing. Let's see, is there anything in this chest? Mm -hmm. Sto snow stays here. That comes with me. Book stays. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Let's dump you. Let's also dump all you and you. And we'll just do, do, do. We'll do this. So next time, I will show you guys what has been going on on my island. But for this episode, we're going to decorate the portal hub. Yep. So, 
maybe you guys can help me because I want to make it steampunky. So actually, let's change texture packs to Gilmer Steampunk. All right, back to this beautiful texture pack. Maybe we can incorporate some redstone layers. I'm just thinking out loud. Got, I got close to one. Yeah, maybe. So let's hop, skip, and a jump. Oh, I finally figured out what uh, those blocks were. Just up here. These are the quartz. I was a derpy derp. I like the way Villicus's looks. You know that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. And use birchwood flooring. So I can redo the whole entryway right here, and anything inside the room. And the walls are too thick on both sides, except for the outside and the roof. The roof is one block thick, as you can tell, which could pose a problem. Got a glowstone block there, glowstone there. Um, what should we start off with? Oh, do do do. I got chicken. Work back. I have no idea. So, I'm going to pause for a quick little break and decorate some of this, and I'll be right back. Okay, progress update time. And I've done a little bit of work on the head, my border room. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I haven't done the entrance. I've been slowly working on the inside. So here it goes. We got this nice little room. I ran out of lapis. Um, I need to make another hole right there. I'm going to put in five more blocks of lapis if I have enough. And this is what it looks like in my texture pack. I'm going to fix it up some more. Um, let's quickly switch over to the Nolan and see how it looks. Actually, let's run out of room. And research packs. Vanilla. Or default. I don't know why people. Never mind, I just figured it out. Herp to derp. Dude, there we go. And. We're back. And this is what it looks like in vanilla. Ooh, ooh, lag spikes. This looks actually fairly nice. I like the way how this and this look. Looks quite nice. Um, not too keen on that in vanilla. Looks good in my texture pack, but might have to fix that a little bit. Um, I'll talk to Vilica, see if I can get those four blocks right there replaced with spruce, make it look nice and pretty. Um, just to match because it looks nicer. I've got this on either side. Let's see what other materials I have. Um. Uh, I'll do something with spruce logs. Step out here. Uh, do do do. And oh, don't want to get rid of that block. So it lets people know where I am. So maybe something along this line. Let's see how this looks. Do do. Bam. Boom. Bam. Boom. And boom. And then we'll pop this off. Sign unregistered. And place a block and air wolf's steampunk city. So that's our doorway at the moment. Maybe I'll inc Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm going to do. That piston design I'm gonna show, I showed you earlier, I'm going to incorporate that. Put the button. Opens. Ta-da. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, and in here. Yeah, this is it. I like how I got, I got this arrow away. Like this. And in case you don't know, this is um, blue carpet and signs. Whenever you place carpet on top of signs, you can see the sign, because the sign is technically not one block tall. It is slightly above one block tall. So if I was to place a block and it was sitting, if I was to place a block, if this was on a block below and place a block there, t the top part of the sign would be cut off. 
Um, so let's just put it as the wall. Uh, do, do, do. What can I do with the quartz? Let's see here. What would look good that I could do with quartz and still look good in vanilla and my texture pack at the same time? Because in my texture pack, it's black and in this, it's white. Quite the polar opposites. Thinking. Bash that. Pick it up and do that, maybe? Um. I don't know. I'll work with it some more, and yeah, we'll be right back. So, guys, I've made just a tiny bit progress more. Um, I'm probably gonna leave it for now. Um, let me know in the comments on what you think would help add to this. I added up a minecart, bounces back and forth. Thinking about seeing if I can get a villager from someone and sticking them up there, and I'm bouncing back and forth for eternity. Um. But other than that, this is pretty much it that I'm done right now. I don't know what else to do. I'm at a loss. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think I should do. Um, yeah, please let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But here's some of the materials that I have available to me. I've got a bunch more that I need to do, and... Let's just look at it real quick in Gilmer's Steampunk be different than it will in mine. So you step outside, got this nice little doorway. I like the Lucas's. That's that's very nice. And I step on in. Oh, you can see this. See, it looks much nicer in mine in this texture pack than it does you know, on Quiet Skype. And then you've got the quartz right here. As it's told you, it's black. Um, quartz there. Uh, don't know what else I should add to it. I mean, it's pretty set in stone. Maybe I'll replace that with spruce. See how that looks. Like right there in, in the corners, maybe. But let, please let me know in the comment section. Oh, that looks wicked cool from underneath. I never noticed that. Are the wheels moving? Hard to tell. Let's jump up. Oh, that's another thing. Whenever you place a carpet down, they have to. They can't place a block on top of it. Does the wheels move? No, they do not. I'm following it. They do not. But, as you can see, I just built a little minecart bouncer back and forth. It'll bounce back and forth until either the chunk's unloaded and it gets stuck there. But, odds are, it's just going to keep bouncing for eternity. Oh, let's put that back. So, yeah, guys. This has been Errol Trouble Summer Gaming. I'm going to be putting up more episodes. And also, check out the Wildlanders channel um, soon. It's currently down right now. But I'm going to be putting up some Cube World, a Cube World series up on there. So, And that series will probably be just for that um, channel. I may do some, you know, every now and then jump back and forth between the channels. But other than that, guys, I've been Airwolf Triple Seven Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.